Let's attach this to the blade. Once again, making another review. We uh, for Tito, Le Tito Legends. Again, we are going back in gluing this uh, Sunway Gear Hyper. Again, the hardness of this glue, uh, this oh, sponge is 37 degrees. Now, let me just also reiterate that when we glue the uh, Target National, uh, we did like two layers of glue uh, towards the sponge so that we can avoid any more dome effect towards the blade. So, that, well, that's what we did a while ago, uh, yesterday or last night. Uh, when we attach the uh, rubber to the blade. Now we are attaching this rubber, the Sunway Gear Hyper at 37 degrees and let me also inform you that this is also been boosted for like how many hours? 24 hours. Uh, last night and then it's already been uh, ready to uh, attach to the uh, Viscaria blade, butterfly Viscaria blade. Okay, so we are now going to uh, glue this rubber. Still applied. Just one stroke. By the way, the booster that was applied here was... Uh, what was the blue again? Seamoon. Seamoon glue. There. So I have to wait until this is dried. And we will apply another set of glue here towards the butterfly Viscaria. We have to make sure everything here is glued and then let it dry. Right? Okay. There's already a dome, uh, an effect here. Reverse on the dome here when we apply this glue towards the rubber. So we have to wait until this is applied. Since this is like a, uh, as we have talked uh, with the uh, owner, they told us that this is like a soft rubber. But as per packaging, it's middle hard texture, takes one. But this is this at 37 degrees. Uh, as, as, as per my uh, experience, yesterday it was like a medium. It's really uh, like a medium, so medium hard rubber. But now, since Simon was applied here for a booster. It's now soft, but not too soft, okay? It's now soft, medium soft, there. We'll wait until this is dried up, and we'll wait. I think everything is dry, okay? Uh, if you don't have any um, hair dryer or a blower, so as I'm gonna say, uh, use your cover of the uh, the cover of the rubber to make it as a fan. It's a good thing we are in a uh, cool environment, so this is applied here. But you also need to be very very aware to avoid any dust and also materials been sticking to the rubber and to the blade. Just to be sure, no other foreign material is being attached uh, is glued here. Okay. Blue 
on the blade is almost dried up. You have to wait. And also the glue for the uh, rubber. Okay. So all we need to do is uh, have more patience in attaching this glue. So you want to apply two glue here, charge, or just one? Two, okay. Just have to wait until this glue is applied, is dried, before we apply another one, okay? So to wait, so everything is almost done, and we will apply another set of glue to this rubber. Now, as we have already dried out the uh, first layer of glue, we are now applying the second layer to the Sunny Gear Hyper. Okay, just a little bit. Since glue is already applied, just a very thin layer of glue will be applied on the second layer. Rubber, sorry, this rubber to the blade. Just need to pan it a bit. So the glue has already been dried. Let's attach this to the blade. Let's use the roller. the bubbles inside the rubber just to make sure that there are no bubbles so we're using this kind of roller right of the dome effect to make sure that the uh, copper is sharp. Oh, like this one. We to bend another one. This is already like a blunt at the pine tip. There. Move this. Kids, be careful when you do this because you might cut yourself, okay? 
Alright, ready? And where's the other one? Let's uh, skip this one first. Let's go ahead and cut this rubber. of the sharp blade any indented marks since the uh, rubber was boosted and also glued using a VOC glue okay we were gonna test this rubber 